Well, this is my first time on camera. Hi guys, welcome back to the Chats with Quabs. Today's a very special day because... <laughs> Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to the Chats with Quabs. As you can see, there's someone different here. It's a special day because I have my first guest. Ola, do you want to introduce yourself? <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to, way to introduce yourself Wait, like a family. Okay, um, go for can it. Can I grab some Coke? Let's start again. Let me get Coke. Go. But why Coke specifically? Hey guys. Hi. Welcome back to the chat with Quabs. That's right. <laughs> well, as you guys can tell, I have a special guest with me. Ola, do you want to introduce yourself? Do us the honor. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> Just say your name, Ola. Hi, guys. I'm Ola Tom, mm -hmm. but most people call me Ola. Um, right. Because we live in the U.S. and a lot of people... Fun. Can I say Ola Tom? Yeah, people actually couldn't say my name back home either, but... I know, it's a hard name. This is what it is. But yeah, this is Ola. She's my friend. We've been living in D.C., well, the DMV area for the past three years, right? Um, mm. Well, about three years, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah. So we're going to be talking a little bit about our experiences in the DMV area, what to expect when you move to this area, just like chit-chat type of video, so... Stay tuned if you want to hear us just <laughs> chit-chat because that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay, so what's the first thing? For me, um, my experience, well, kind of the first thing that comes to mind is that it's expensive to live in this area. It is. It's kind of crazy how expensive rent is. How ex I don't want to start off like with negatives, but... <laughs> This is what we're gonna do. Yeah. So yeah, it's just expensive, and like the metro transportation system is quite mm -hmm. expensive. Food is expensive. Food is expensive. Um, rent is expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. So that's just kind of like the first thing that comes to mind. How about yeah. you? Um, I think one thing I like about DC, I guess to to balance me out. Right? <laughs> well, I'm wearing the, I'm wearing dark color, so you can understand. It just comes with it, you know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I think I like that um, it's connected. So, like, the metro area is, like, you can get around on the metro That's alone true. easily. Right. You can get from, like, D.C. to Maryland to Virginia just on the metro. Yeah, which is really um, nice. That you yeah. can travel. So that's nice. I lived somewhere where there wasn't, like, a metro system or anything before, and so I like Which is North Carolina. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I really like the connectivity of the metro. And, oh, my gosh, the metro is so clean compared clean. to New York's metro. Well, compared to New York. Yeah, because yeah. I wanted to live in New York no. after graduation for a nope. while. Um, and then I lived in D.C. and I was like, wow, it's such a nice balance. True, because I also um, went to school in the um, in Massachusetts, the Boston yeah. area, and I thought that was the best thing that ever happened to me. And then I came to D.C. and I was like, oh, actually... DC is clean. Yeah, like it's really compared clean, to like other cities, like yeah. it's relatively cleaner. Right, right. And also one yes. other thing that I and really just, like, like more peaceful. Well, yeah. like less chaotic. Like the metro system. Like if you go into the DC metro, like I don't know. There's not. It's not. It's not chaotic. Like it's not. People are organized. People yeah. have sense, basically. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, and even based on that, the connectivity is the fact that you can travel through DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Well, the northern parts, but yeah. it's really cool that you yeah. can get to go through three states. Well, DC is not a state, but you feel me. Three different states. You know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> what else? Um. Okay, so I like museums and stuff like that so i think dc has lots of museums yeah that's true um, and they're very nice they which i like museum is the top one if you've not which been. i haven't have. been to it's so bad you haven't been i haven't oh my I know. god i, still, I, I need to go so i don't really like museums i do but okay, you know but you have to go to this one though. i know i do i have to i know it's yeah so but DC, don't has, judge me, guys. dc has like a good amount of museums and i yeah. think if you're a museum person, like you like it. Yeah, I need to do that. Definitely do it, and a lot of historical sites too. Yeah. So it's a very touristy. I don't really city. like those touristy. Places. I don't go either. Listen, I live in DC. I haven't <laughs> gone to either. Place. <laughs> like I'm not. Yeah. Like the National Mall and all of that. I mean, it's cute, but she's a hater. I'm more. Basically. I like the museums though. Like they have some. 
yeah. good content. Yeah, so if you are that type of person, DC is a city for you. Yeah. Um, what else? I think one thing that I appreciate is the fact that there are a lot of young people in the city, a lot of young professionals. So True. it's really nice to have that vibe where it's like you're not, I mean, no one is saying that the generational, you know, span is isn't great that's not what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nice to have a lot of young people that you can relate to that kind of uh, similar life tracks with you yeah um and so you can learn from them or have other people learn from me which is really nice and then there are a lot of like nice places to hang out with all these young people and, yeah you know, happy hour is a big DC happy thing. hour is a big thing that's like a dc culture <laughs> yeah and also going out to eat i don't know so i think new york has it has a bigger culture when it goes when it comes to eating out but dc also kind of has that culture yeah well, like but it's expensive to, though, so it is expensive to be wise about it i don't know i don't really know where the spots are but i know that yeah there's a lot of nice restaurants in there are there. yeah just be wise about spending your money <laughs> but go out yes go out too you know yeah. <laughs> um, um oh yeah so i this so dc has like a sizable black population which he um, likes and i'm not that i don't like but you know <laughs> she no it's very nice like there's a good spread of like black people there's a True. big like african yes community, african community Korean, african american community, african -American like, american community. Just, it's we nice. actually did a little history today history okay. lesson about dc and african americans in dc and it's actually very enlightening so if you guys yeah. want to know about that check it out but as she said there's a big black community which is nice to have people yeah. who look like you around you you know and also just like there's events surrounding yes. with the people like cultural events are like yeah know, relate to so that's nice so. although the african restaurants that we have yeah kind of gone to aren't the greatest i mean i wouldn't <laughs> put my i won't yeah, recommend like, you actually any, think there will be more yes african restaurants like african good quality food. african restaurants and I, but, well i guess maybe they sell out a little bit because they're not yeah. catering to african people but i feel like they might you don't yeah they are not in terms you know? of like actual restaurants because i'm sure they are like people who cater and stuff like that like who are not established restaurants where you can well, get you authentic can, i mean but some, it's probably someone's house yeah but the restaurants and things like that it's like you know it's very yeah, watered down it's not that good actually. except mansa kunda which is one place that we went yeah. to i mean it's really good out of all the places the others are to. okay you yeah, no, 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 she's just don't nice. back them. no they're okay but like they're not it's not like the greatest thing about dc it's not say. the greatest thing about dc that's for sure although the people are nice but that's still nice support them like, yeah well yeah so black program. business guys yeah. african business too yeah although don't business. expect too much but you know just saying <laughs> oh my gosh ciao okay what next um let me see what else did i have oh um Oh, also another thing is going back. I feel like, can we go back to something we talked about before? Yeah. Oh, so in terms of like the fact that you can get to Virginia and like Maryland and DC as well, you can also take trips, which is nice. So like, you can go to Ocean City. Oh, right. Like, Virginia Beach. Yeah. Um, beaches. There's just like, there's places like close by where you can get away. Um, yeah, which is like, nice. You're out of the city. You can also dress in New York. Like it's like a nice location where you can. And you can go to the south if that's trips. your thing, yeah. right? You can go down to North Carolina. It's like Canada. very central on like the. East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. So really, that's nice. Yeah. And a lot of beaches too. Oh, we have options at least. You can go to Ocean City. There's another one in, um, well, Virginia. Delaware beaches, too. Delaware. It has a couple of beaches yeah. too. So that's also a highlight. Yeah. Um. What other things? Oh. You said a lot of good things. Any bad like things? It. Well, it looks like we like this year <laughs> since we don't have a lot of negative things to say. Um, I do, I won't lie. I really like the city. Yeah, me too, actually. It's somewhere that I can see myself li living long term. Yeah. Unless, of course, I go to it's a different city. It's been my favorite city and place to live me. since I've been in the US. Me so, like, too. Yeah. But I thought Boston was it, but this DC is it. So if you guys know, yeah. Oh, another thing that I don't like about DC, the weather is mm. so erratic. Honestly, I'm not complaining. No, seriously. Like, I just like consistency. If it's going to be hot, just be hot. If it's going to be cold, just be cold. Don't be cold. Well, you know, but at least if you're going <laughs> to be, just remain cold. I'm fine with it because I feel like it's like, I know it's erratic, but it's like moderate erratic. Like, it's not like... No, I'm not here. It doesn't get like too cold or too hot. It like, does so. get too cold. It does get really cold, and then the next day is, is like warm. Okay, and too then, cold compared to what though? Like it's really cold and freezing that you can't even like you're just. It's not like up. Boston cold. No, I'm. I mean, I'm not comparing. So it yeah, to you, don't, you don't like the like it's not stable. That's all I'm talking okay. about. Just That's the consistency. Me, I don't like the consistency. I, I don't like, like the, the snow inconsistency. Days, so I'm not oh yeah, we had a couple of snow days. <laughs> 
<laughs> which was nice. Yeah, so I love um, this one. DC literally shuts down. I know. Like, like the I last know. we had a snow day like a couple of days ago, and honestly, I was like, really, y'all. Really? Like, the the snow was like this, this much. Is too much. Literally. Yeah. So it's a lot of like if you work with the government to like it's gonna shut down. It's like a lot of like shut well, down. Not sh- well, well, not shut, not down. shut down, but close. So yeah. well, <laughs> The government, like, they close easily or, like, delayed, like, what's the word? Whatever, I know, we know what you're trying to say, they close. <laughs> <laughs> they don't open for it to, to, to work, you know, it's just, it's just, you but know, yeah, terms. Um, I hope these people can hear us because we are talking a lot about each other, actually. Um, but it's okay. This is just, this is what it is. Game, yeah. No, but this is just how we talk anyway, <laughs> so it's true. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do we like? Oh, nightlife. Um, she does more than nightlife stuff. I um, do. Kind of more of a, you know. Grandma. Not grandma. <laughs> I have other priorities. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, there's a lot to do. U Streets is like, people love U Streets, but it's okay. I don't, it's okay. It's not my favorite thing. Yeah, but there's other okay. places to go, especially like places for black people. Again. Again, you know <laughs> what I was saying. Black nightlife is popping. It is. I've actually gone out a couple of times and it was nice. When we went to that party. <laughs> I don't go out a lot. No, I admit it. I'm not like a night owl yeah, or anything. Like, but like they have, like you have good, good music, like good, good, vibes, good yes, people. right. Um, so if you're into nightlife, like DC, yeah, DC does definitely it's has popping. It. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. That's so exciting. Um, let's see what else. I think I took some notes. Um. Okay. So. Library. Oh yes. The DC library is amazing. You can get all sorts. I mean, this might be a thing in every state, but I just discovered the DC library. Yeah, I mean, it's not just the DC library, which is okay. what makes it even more fantastic. Is the fact that if you live in DC, you have access to Virginia libraries and mm-hmm. you have access to Maryland libraries, which is amazing. Yeah, I think that's just because you can borrow books also across all libraries, and it's not one library it's like tens of yeah. libraries. You know, so, so it's, it's very cool. very nice. And if like, you're into that type of stuff, you know, they also have like apps that like you can get. There's just so yes. much you can gain yeah. from like That's the true. library system. That's like true. if you're not on that, definitely like sign up for a card. Like, yes, get a card. Take advantage. Get a couple. <laughs> Go to the different libraries. I have like ten cards, not yeah. ten. That's a little bit you know extreme, but I have like. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm using, milking it for what's worth. Yeah. That's, um, so take advantage of that, guys. Like, yeah. Highly recommend. Highly recommended. Um, grocery stores. There's not, like, the grocery store, I mean, but it's a city, Aldi, though, so. though. I guess it depends on where you live, because, like, if you're in, like, Alexandria and, like, the Virginia. What, there are no grocery stores? I think there's more options. Like, like if you DC? leave, like, downtown D.C. Or, oh, like, that's close, what you like, mean. Like, in proximity. Like, unless you're, like, Silver Spring or, like, Virginia. Well, outside of D.C. DC. Yes, but if you live in D.C., like, you don't have a lot of options. Oh, yeah. I don't live in D.C. She does, yeah. so. So it's, and that's actually annoying. Yeah. And if you don't have a car, like... Oh, that's one thing. That's actually a big thing. Like, having a car. Because whilst the metro system is pretty good and it mm-hmm. helps connect to different places, it's so much more convenient having a car. Especially yeah. if you're traveling among the different states, right? If you're going through Virginia, Maryland, D.C., all of that. Again, I know D.C. is not a state, but whatever. Um, it's very convenient having a car. Like, that's yeah. one of... And as you're saying, talking about grocery stores... If you don't have a car to carry yeah. your groceries, stuff around is quite, you know. Right. So if you don't live like a couple steps from the grocery store, which is yeah. where it's unlikely. Unless, unlikely. I mean, there's a couple of stores like in the middle of the city, but like not a lot. Yeah. So it's annoying. You probably have to get one of those grandma carts <laughs> yeah. to wheel your stuff across. Or you might have to like Uber. If you have somebody who can drive, you to get them. Because if you get a lot of stuff, if you buy stuff in bulk, like there's only so much you can carry. That's true. Walking a distance. Yeah. yeah. So... So that's something to keep in mind. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it's manageable. But yeah. It's just one thing. To and I mean, even with the car, like there's the cons of like parking. Yes. Oof. Ooh, <laughs> that's the bane of my existence. Yeah. Parking in DC can be a nightmare, and not just street parking and stuff like. So when you go out into the city and you're just chilling or hanging out, and you need to find parking, that's a nightmare on its own. But then, let's say you move into an apartment complex or whatever and you have to pay for parking oh my gosh it's so annoying yeah. so uh, parking really eats into your money your money a lot just yeah. in general um so because dc a lot of people come into the city they make a lot of money off of you know parking okay. and imagine. tickets too because i've, I've gotten a couple and yeah. i've paid quite a few i feel like i'm getting one in the mail sooner actually. <laughs> i saw the i saw the light the flash <laughs> <Dang. laughs> um and even like if you have a car i mean it's great but um rush hour traffic is really annoying in dc especially in the mornings um, oh right yeah 
So that's something that I think that's why a lot of people would commute as opposed to like actually driving down to work and then having to find parking. Right. So there's pros and cons to True. So thank God for a good metro a system, car, right? Because yeah. at least you can, you know, park your car at home or wherever wherever you park your car and then drive into well, use the metro system to get into the city. So yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, so, all in all, we just want to say that we love DC. We do. Yes, I we do? do. Okay, cool. I really like DC. Um, I think, yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? It sounds like, like you really everything. love DC. something I do want to add, though. I feel oh. like I've, I've run into a couple of, like, DC natives who are, like, upset that... You know, all these like non native DC people are here, okay. like claiming DC. And well, I think, like, <laughs> I'm not, but I'm just saying, I think there's some, it's kind of sad to think about, you know, that people are displaced from there. Yes, that's yeah, true. You know, so that's something to keep in mind. Cool, y'all. <laughs> but no, we really love living in DC, yeah. in spite of, you know, the cons and the downsides of it. It's a really nice city to live in. Um, so if you're ever considering moving somewhere in the US, consider DC. Definitely. Or like you said, right. like, and you can also live in the suburbs. I wouldn't like, recommend that too much. I will. I give you, <laughs> well, if you're, if you if drive, you're age. If you drive and you're looking for like more affordable options, I think True. you should definitely consider it. Like even just outside of the DMV metro area. Although I'll say, if you're our age, it's better to live at you. Again, True. think about your pocket, think about your finances, yeah. all of that. Don't just listen to what we're saying because whatever. But it's it's much nicer living closer to the city yeah, than you know, in like, the suburbs. You can just get out. Yeah, you can just get out and move around a little bit more. So definitely. But yeah, DC, y'all need to pay us because we're like selling your markets. <laughs> we're selling your markets. But yeah, we like DC. Yeah, we do. Um, so think um, about it. yeah, we're gonna wrap up this video here. I'm gonna bring Ola. Um, a couple more times we have a, a couple of more a couple of, a couple of, <laughs> we have a couple more um topics that we want to discuss so um help me say thank you to ola for joining us thank you olinski <laughs> uh it, it was i don't me. have a channel i would have linked in the description uh, box below but, but she would like to say subscribe to oh so <laughs> Oh, I would like to say subscribe to Crystal's channel. Right. The, the chat with Quaz is about to be popping. It's yeah, about okay. Crystal what? is like popping. Pop pop I, mean, I don't want to watch her too much, but <laughs> <laughs> she has some some things to say that I think y'all should definitely look out for. So, oh, that's below. really sweet. That's really nice. <laughs> Which is true. So subscribe, yeah. comment in the comment section. Um, let's have a conversation about your own city and what you like about your city. Definitely. And if you live in DC, you can share. Tell us if you know you don't agree with us. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, <laughs> we're always right. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. So yeah, share your comments, and we'll see. You, well, I'll see you in the next video, and Ola will be coming back very soon. So watch out. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. <laughs> I mean, in the past, just about you know. My experiences with love and some of the thoughts that I, some things I learned from, you know, my past dating relationships, you know, friendships and all that stuff. So yeah, please click here if you want some of my wisdom. Yeah. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned. I'm doing a giveaway next week. Yeah, I'm doing a giveaway. <laughs> I think I am. And I'm going to be dropping some merch. A so Ooh. you know, sign up below if you Come want on. some like. Early bird tickets. Just so you know, I'm recording all of this. And it's gonna go in my blooper, my blooper section. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find one. Okay. We're too close, are we? I know, we're really, really close. I mean, maybe I should move. Maybe I don't want to move out of the frame, though. Yeah, I don't think you move out of the frame. I think we're good. Okay, just, okay. hopefully there's no um, smelling breath anywhere. Can I say that? I'm <laughs> talking about me, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. It's, but I don't know why I feel awkward. Why? Why do you there's feel There's like, like I'm like fine, and then there's like window moments where I just feel like I don't know what to do with my body. Just be, just be normal. Just like like we're having a conversation okay, and just looking right, at right. the camera.